guys, welcome to our devotional today. I'm so happy that you have joined us. And because we have five minutes, we're gonna deep dive into it, okay? So come with me and join me. Let's go for Acts 28, I'm sorry, Acts 18, 24 to 26. And it says like this. Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos, an eloquent speaker who knew the scriptures well, had arrived in Ephesus from Alexandria in Egypt. And let me stop a little bit. Just to give you a little bit of context, Alexandria in Egypt, not Alexandria in Louisiana, means that it was in the Roman Empire, one of the biggest learning centers. So because he was a Jew, he was taught from a very young age the word of the Lord. Okay, let's keep going. He had been taught the way of the Lord and he taught others about Jesus with enthusiastic spirit and with accuracy. However, he knew only about John's baptism. When Priscilla and Aquila heard him preaching boldly in the synagogue, they took him aside and explained the way of God even more accurately. We have so much in this scripture. I love when I'm confronted with scripture, with love and with um, just such a, a confrontation uh, spirit, but again, in support and in love. And this is one of them. We have one of the main characters, Apollos, that was an eloquent, knowledgeable, one of the best communicators in his time. But one thing was missing. You see, he knew about the life of Jesus. He knew about the history of Jesus. But did he know about the living presence of Jesus in his life? And I just want to take this uh, small time that I have with you just to explain this with you. All of this week, we have been talking about back to school. And you can say, Kat. Yeah, what is, does that have to do with me? You can say, I finished school years ago. Well, let me give you a little secret. You are still learning. You are learning forever in the word of God. And I wanna give you a little bit of snapshots with this scripture. And I wanna give you challenges throughout the way because this has been a challenge for me. So one thing is, how well do we know scripture? How well have we put our initiative and our discipline into knowing the word of God? I know Apollo did, but have you ever taken a moment and said, I'm good, I know enough. I know enough scripture to run this race. That's a huge mistake. I have done that, I have made that. And there's times that God has to burst my bubble into it. I have said in my life, in situation, I know enough to walk this season out. And God says, no, 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 I need you to go deeper with me. No matter how much I don't want to admit it, the more I go deep into the relationship with God, not only I know him, but I know myself. And the more I know myself, I can surrender things to him in areas that Jesus wants to transform in my life. Second point that I want to look into it is Priscilla and Aquila. This is my favorite point. Why? I want to ask you one thing. Have you invested in someone? Who has invested in you? This is exactly what Priscilla and Aquila did. They saw someone knowledgeable. They saw someone with skill. They saw someone with power. They saw a rough diamond in the making, but not yet the diamond. And they saw that beauty inside of Apollos. Not only they, they say something, but they went directly to him. They could do two things or they could have shut their mouths and not say anything, or they could have humiliated him in the synagogue, but they didn't. They didn't went to no one else, just to him and said, hey, I need you with me. Let me invest in you, come to my home. Let me disciple you because obviously you know enough scripture, 
but you need to know the living presence of God. I have an illustration for you. I'm a kid's pastor. It's part of my job. I have a steak and I have baby food. Even with the knowledge that Apollo had, it says that in scripture, he was still in baby food. Where are you? Priscilla and Aquila had to come and put the spice into it in order for him to start getting the real content of Jesus Christ. And that is the stake. That's another challenge that I have with you. Do you have people empowering you? Do you have people looking at your gifts? Do you have people speaking into your life? Are you doing that for someone else? Where are you? The reality is we can be in baby food for years, still serve, still come to church, but it takes the initiative of humbling ourselves and saying yes to Jesus in order to get to the meat of it, in order to get to the stake of it. Charles Swindle, Charles Swindle said this, had it not been for those unknown people, those nobodies, a large of chunk of church history would be missing and a lot of lives would have been untouched. In Apollos, we see the power of God's gift to a person. We see the skill. However, the skill will never replace the relationship with Jesus. Your talent will never take away your dependency of Christ because of the result of these three characters of saying yes to their calling and to their purpose. Church history was changed. So a challenge for you. If you are still in baby food, who do you have? Or do you have to go to someone in order to start getting the steak and the meat of Christ Jesus in your life? Thank you for this time of being together. I encourage you, come tomorrow, be with us, and let's go deep together as a church in the word of God. See you. Thank you.